Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my train room. Today I'm going to be experimenting with another product that I've never used before. So let me turn the camera around and get set up and I'll show you what I'm doing. If you've been watching my channel you've probably seen this rough piece of um, plaster base. I won't call it scenery because it's just the foundation for such. Anyway, today this lump of plaster gets to do double duty because I have here a brand new product, Sculptor Mold, and I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to see how easy it is to make a rock face out of this stuff. So let me get organized. I read the instructions and just like plaster it's a two to one mix. It says models like clay sets up like plaster in 30 minutes. Anyway I have two measures here. I'm going to use the small measure to put in water and the double size measure to put in sculptor mold. That way as long as I use the same number of scoops of each I know the mix is about right. Of course it's difficult guessing how much there is in there because there was a lot of air gaps. Right, it says it sticks equally well to wet or dry, so I'm just going to plonk it straight on. Actually, let me use some of this to see how well it levels the indentations. And I'll carved a slightly smaller area. I guess I need to leave it to start going hard before I come back and try to carve it. Well I've left it for about 10 minutes. It feels almost dry to the touch. So let me see if it's ready to carve. I'm using my normal rock carving technique of cutting the horizontal striations in it and then doing some fissures. I'm finding that it's sticking to the knife causing it to drag rather than give a fine cut. I don't know whether... No, this is, the chisel won't chip it off. So certainly my normal rock carving technique doesn't work. Maybe it's not ready yet. So let me try smoothing it out again. Now that's interesting. It gets nearly smooth, but some of the texture is still visible. So let me make some more of it. Right. And now I will smooth it a little bit less than I did last time. Well, it's certainly not an acceptable rock as yet, but I'm thinking if I come back and have another go at it, maybe another 10 minutes, that might change. Well, it's now been about 23 minutes. It's a little bit later than I intended. I meant to get back after 20. Let's try the same thing again. Still doesn't carve like plaster. So let's try leaving it a few more minutes. Okay, it's now about 40 minutes since I mixed it up. Let's have another go. There's really not a lot of change. Let's try picking it off with the knife and see if that makes a difference. Nope. This isn't working either. It's, it's not looking like rock. It's looking like torn up paper. It's now been about an hour and I'm back. It just doesn't respond to my normal method of carving rocks. It might be getting marginally better, but certainly not very much.
Well, it's now been about two and three quarter hours since I mixed it up. I was planning on coming back after two, but I had to run off to the post office and I got delayed. So let's give it another try. All right, the uh, knife marks, I think are starting to get a little bit thinner. No, as soon as I, as soon as I try to get any depth at all, it starts pulling out. I think I should just go away and let it go rock hard and we come back tomorrow. Okay, it's now about 20 past eight, which means it's seven hours and 20 minutes since I mixed it. Let's try again. It's starting to get a little bit better, but it's still really fluffy and doesn't look a bit like rocks. I guess now I will have one more attempt tomorrow morning and then call it a day. Well, I'm back again. It's a little over 24 hours since I put this in. So let's give one last attempt at carving it and see what happens. Reading directly from the package. Molds like clay and sets up plaster hard in 30 minutes. This is more than 24 hours later and it is totally impossible to carve it to look like rock. Well that concludes this experiment. In conclusion I think there is a use for sculptor mold. I noticed where I spread it on the level surfaces, it made quite a good job of filling in the hollows and actually had a reasonable texture to put the dirt on. Of course, when it comes to representing rock work, it is absolutely not suitable. I was led to believe that it was a substitute for plaster in making rocks and that is absolutely not the case. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.